Hello my friends, Miss Jen here. I hope you've been taking some time to play outside and enjoying your naturehood around you. Today, I'm excited to talk about one of my favorite projects at Dawson College, and that is our Monarch Butterfly Nursery Project. Did you know that milkweed is the only plant that monarch butterflies lay their eggs on? And it's the only plant that the monarch caterpillars will eat. In 2016, we had a group of girl guides donate and plant 150 milkweed plants by our theater. It was a rainy day, but the girl guides didn't care and they said they wanted to do this for the butterflies. So they planted it in the rain. Dawson College was certified a monarch oasis by Montreal's Espace Pour la Vie because of the large amount of milkweed and butterfly-friendly plants found on our 12 acres of land of the Dawson grounds. In the summer of 2018, we began finding monarch eggs and caterpillars in our gardens. This was proof that our efforts in keeping milkweed and keeping different flowers helps the monarch butterflies. This project includes Dawson students and employees, and we always invite visitors to come and take one of our living campus tours. And if you come at the right time of year in July and August, you will get a chance to visit our Monarch Nursery, which is always a favorite. We use this time to teach people about this beautiful species at risk. During the visit, you will get to see monarchs at different stages from egg to caterpillar to chrysalis to butterflies. Some people call it a cocoon, but it's moths who make cocoons, which is made of silk, and butterflies make a chrysalis, which is hard, not soft like cocoons. The monarch chrysalis is quite pretty. It's bright green with black lines and gold little dots. When I first saw it, I thought they were earrings. Did you know you can tell if a monarch will be a boy or a girl by looking at the chrysalis? You have to have really good eyes to see. If you see a line between the two dots at the very top of the chrysalis, it will be a girl. If there is no line, it will be a boy. You can tell a girl or boy monarch butterfly by looking at the hind wings or the small wings. If there are two black dots, that means it's a boy. If there are no black dots, that means it's a girl. Monarch butterflies are one of the largest butterflies in Canada. If you measure their wings, it can be from 63 to 105 millimeters. That's about the size of an adult's palm and female monarchs can lay up to 300 eggs over a few weeks, but only 1% will make it to butterflies. Monarch caterpillars grow really fast. In two weeks or less, their weight can grow up to 2,700 times. Monarchs you see in the summer usually will live about three to five weeks, but the monarchs you see in the fall are the migrating monarchs, which means they can live up to eight months long, enough to make it to Mexico. Monarch butterflies are actually poisonous to birds and other insects who try eat it. That is why there are so many butterflies who mimic or pretend to be monarchs as a way to disguise. But there are ways to tell if you have seen a monarch or not. There is another black and orange butterfly called the viceroy, which looks just like the monarch, except that the viceroy has a line going through the hind wings or the smaller bottom wings. There's also one called the Painted Lady, which looks like the Monarch, except its design is more smoky and spotted. Finally, there's another one called the Red Admiral, who is mostly black in color than orange. In summer 2018, we decided to build our own outdoor enclosure to temporarily raise monarchs, protecting them from predators and severe weather. Since our winters are really cold and windy, we have to take it down before the winter and rebuild it back every spring. We always make sure our equipment and tools are properly cleaned and sanitized very well to make sure our monarchs don't get sick. Just like we're washing our hands all the time, we have to keep the monarch safe too. We know a chrysalis is ready to become a butterfly when its color is changed from green to black and then finally transparent or see-through. You can actually see its wings scrunched up in the chrysalis. Once it encloses, its abdomen or tummy is very big and its wings look really small. Slowly but surely, it pushes its energy from its body to its wings. It will stay hanging on its empty chrysalis for some time until its wings are dry, which is usually about two hours. Scientists still don't know how the monarchs know to go down south to Mexico. They think maybe they follow the sun, or maybe they have a tiny GPS like in your car, but in their brain. They always go to the same Ayumel trees in Mexico that their great-great-grandfather went to. They're the only butterflies that we know about that makes the two-way migration from north to south and south to north like many birds. Migration means that you're moving from one place to another. 
This is why we work with others to help save the monarch population so we can continue seeing these beautiful species in our neighborhood or our naturehood. We get eggs, caterpillars, chrysalis that we find on the Dawson grounds or from one of the partnering organizations. Usually we have Dawson friends raise the monarchs in their office space, but this year is a bit different since most of us are working from home. We did not want to cancel the project, so instead, we let people borrow our pop-up tents and bring them to their homes. I'm getting many pictures and videos of people releasing their monarchs out into the wild, out in their neighborhoods. It has been said many times that by doing this project, we are helping the monarch butterflies, but it seems that by being a part of the project, the monarchs are actually helping us because it makes us feel good knowing we're helping them, but also sharing this joy with our friends, neighbors, and loved ones, well-being for all. It is amazing how such a tiny creature can bring a whole community together. It may be a fragile creature, but it definitely leaves a strong lasting lifetime impact on all of those who are involved. This year we are mapping out all the different neighborhoods that our monarch butterflies were released. Here is a map that shows you Montreal and its surrounding areas. If you are not able to be part of our Dawson Nursery project, there are still things you can do to help the monarchs. First, don't cut down any milkweed that you see in your yard and plant some butterfly-friendly flowers so monarchs and other butterflies can drink the nectar from them. Since the monarchs are flying long distance, they need a lot of energy, so having flowers in your yard like asters, bergamot, black-eyed susan, yarrow, and boneset will help them. Well, that's it for today, my friends. I hope you learned a lot about the monarch butterflies. Thank you.